start off, they were they were terrific. They played great. Um, Butler was awesome. You know, Martindale was terrific. You know, we had no answer for Austin Butler. He just he abused us. Um, you know, we just um, you know we kind of came out. We we weren't ready to go when we first came out. Uh, they took control of the game. It got feeling good, and then we just struggled. We struggled to uh, struggled to defend. Um, just got beat off the dribble on straight line drives to the basket. No rotations, no help. You know, my hat goes off to them. They played without gates, and they they were terrific. A lot of energy. Um, we had none. Uh, coach, especially in the first half, um, Holy Cross got a lot of looks from three. You mentioned Martin, Dale, and Butler obviously made you pay, um, but they overall were doing a good job as a team in the first half. What do you think you can do better on that end? Yeah, I just, listen, we, we got to play better within our principles. Like we went over the scouting report. We played this team three times. They ran the same things over and over. We didn't guard it great. Uh, but the, the, the problem is we were just a step slow to everything. We were just playing on our heels the whole time. Um, you know, the good thing is we didn't quit. We kept, we kept fighting through. We, we kept a good attitude. We kept trying to battle. But, you know, they, they, they outplayed us. You know, the bottom line, they just outplayed us. Uh, Coach, if you don't mind, I want to ask about Jonas Harper. Uh, I saw he tweaked his ankle in the first half, and then it looked like he re-aggravated it into the second half and in the game. Any comment on that? Did you notice that at all? No, I didn't, I didn't really notice. Didn't okay. Notice. And then I also wanted to ask about just the defense from Holy Cross as well. Uh, they came with the full court press basically all game. You guys had 10 turnovers, um, six from McCoy. Anything, any comment on that? Yeah, I just think, you know, Javante's not make, you know, he's got to make better decisions with the ball. He's turned the ball over more this year than he ever has. Um, we just got to make better decisions. You know, um, our game goal is 12. So, you know, you know, but Jay had six, that, that really hurt us, you know, in big spots. Um, you know, we end up shooting a decent percent. We shot, you know, 52%, you know, basically 52%, 40 from three, but we didn't even play good. You know, we, you know, we didn't play well at all. So, um, you know, that's, that's, that's good and bad. You know, we lost by 11 and, you know, a lot of that has, to, you have to give Holy Cross a lot of credit. They came in and took the fight to us right away. We weren't ready to go. Uh, Coach, you guys did do a pretty good job on the offensive glass. You rebounded them there 10 to three. I feel like that's been a pretty strong area for you guys all year. Um, yeah, you know, you... lately we haven't been great, but you know, in this game, Walt got eight rebounds and Steve got eight rebounds. That's that's very good. Um, you know, nobody else did much after that. You know, Javante got four, three offensive rebounds, but a lot of that was late in the game with us just trying to get to the rim. Um, but you know, Suk and, and Walt are really good rebounders for us. Um, you know, but the, the game was really we we. We couldn't guard Butler, um, and we just got beat off the dribble constantly for for layups at the rim. I mean, it was, you know, they destroyed us off the bounce. And is that, do you think that's a communication thing or an energy thing? Yeah, is there yeah I a think way it's an pinpoint? energy thing. I think it's an energy thing. Uh, I think, you know, we've got to do a better job of being off the ball and, and being in the right spots on the floor to help each other. We got to be ready to rotate. But we, you know, we got to be ready to play. I, I just think mentally we got to change our mindset and be ready to go, you know. Um, you know, right now we're just, we're nowhere near playing as well as we're capable of playing. Last three games, we're, we're not even close to playing as well as we're capable of playing. And I think that it's, you know, the frustration is growing on them. Um, and now they're out there thinking instead of playing. Um, and so we just got to try to get back, you know, uh, you know, try to practice two days, get out to Army, start playing a little bit better, and get ready for the playoffs. Uh, my last question for you, Coach. Um, obviously, you're focused on this game right now, but 
you mentioned you have two games left and the frustration that you may or may not be feeling. How do you kind of manage that while also kind of preach a sense of urgency in this final weekend? Yeah, well, a lot of it is, is up to, you know, a lot of this is up to them, you know, at this point of the season, you know, you know, we have veteran players, you know, those guys have got to step up and set the tone and get it done. And right now we're not getting it done. You know, we got guys that played a lot of minutes. I mean, they, they, you know, there was nothing that we didn't go over, you know, um, you know, I, Obviously, I need to figure out ways to get these guys. Um, and it's funny because they want to play. It's not like they're fighting it. They know, you know, they kind of know that they're not getting it done. Um, you know, we've got to kind of get them in the right frame of mind mentally uh, right now because we're, you know, we're just not, we're, we're not playing with, um, we're not playing with a level of toughness that it takes to be successful. And we've just been inconsistent. Tonight, we were, you know, tonight we didn't quit. We, we battled, you know, we battled when it got hard. That was, that was good. But, you know, we're not playing with that, with that level of mentality that you got to play to be successful. We're just not doing that. And, and we're, we, you know, we were bad on both ends. I thought we, we struggled, no flow in the first half. It kind of took us out of our, our flow offensively. Uh, and we struggled. And I think, you know, Sometimes when we struggle offensively, then we're not focused defensively. You know, I thought we were bad on both sides of the ball for a good portion of this game. Coach, on a little bit of a lighter note, was senior night tonight kind of a, a unique one, obviously, <laughs> the, the virtual setting uh, and also with the eligibility rules. Don't know if these are the, this is the last college basketball we're going to see from some of these guys, right? So just your thoughts on a, a unique senior night here. Yeah, it, 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 you know, everything is so strange, you know. Um, you know, that is definitely one thing that is, is very unique, uh, you know, going through that with no one here. Uh, but those guys, those three guys are awesome. You know, we'll have to kind of see how it goes, you know, uh, with the eligibility rule, with guys being able to come back. So we told the guys we'll talk about that when the year is over. Um, you know, but right now our focus has got to just be on being better, trying to play better basketball on both sides of the ball. Um, we just need to be better.